Welcome to Joe's Astrology. This is the birth chart for Luke Newton. Uh, there's no time for him, so he's a sun in Aquarius and a moon, possible moon in Leo, but here it's showing moon in Cancer. Um, either way, he's born on a under a gibbous moon, moving towards a full moon. And we could say that's kind of Leo-like. I mean, I, my guess is pro he's an actor. He's probably Leo Moon. But I'll show you more that correlates with being an actor as well. I literally know nothing about this guy. Absolutely nothing. All I, all I know is that he's on a show called Bridgerton. And he's from the UK. So this is going to be interesting. Uh, if you know about this guy and you're watching this, you can kind of test my skills with uh, being completely blind reading an astrology chart. And with no birth time, I'm not I'm not going to get too much in detail, but I try to do some general stuff that could be going on here for fun. We see he's a sun in Aquarius. <clears throat> So just generally, you know, he could be a social guy. Uh, people might like him as a friend. Think of those things being associated with um, Aquarius. He has Mercury in Aquarius where it's exalted. So a very good placement for Mercury. And with Saturn there, you know, Saturn rules. Saturn also rules Aquarius. So with his Sun, Saturn, Mercury, this guy would be very, uh, you know, he could be, Known from for being very responsible, someone who's maybe a little bit uh, dry or dark, but definitely dry. We think of the sun. Sun doesn't like to be in Aquarius for that reason. It likes to be in Leo. It likes to be bright, shining. <clears throat> and uh, he may come across as being, and that may be why he's, you know, why he's a good friend because he's, he's more. Uh, he, he may come across as being more interested in you than he is himself. Now, as I said, we, we think that the moon could be in Leo, but there really is no Leo. We don't know. It could be Leo rising. But let's look at the sun here. Look at all the aspects to the sun, the planet that rules, Sat the planet that rules Leo. It's conjunct Saturn and Mercury. It's also making a semi-square to Venus. It's making a semi-sextile to Neptune and Uranus. It's making a sextile to the North Node. And it is making a loose square to Pluto. It's making a trine to Jupiter. That's probably the most, uh, the best expander of that sun, Jupiter expansion. And... As I said, it could be in a full moon. It could be in a full moon phase. A full phase with the moon. And it's in conjunct to Mars. So it's pretty much making it cl close or decent aspects to every planet by degree. And the reason why I'm mentioning that is because, you know, we do often see a lot of Pisces and... Uh, Pisces and Leo with actors and here we see the when there's not any Pisces or, or possibly no Leo possibly no Pisces we see all the aspects to that to Sun and we can look at the Neptune and say the same thing with the Neptune being almost in the same degree as the node it's making a square to Jupiter it's in a full the moon's possibly in a full phase to that Neptune Neptune is also uh, semi-sextile to Saturn and Mercury. And it's making an exact, it looks like, yes, almost an exact quintile with Venus. So this guy, you know, we, we kind of correlate that to the Venus in Aries. You know, Venus in Aries can be seen as someone who's a lover of competition, someone who's uh, got great sex appeal. It could be more interested in 
um, getting things done, starting projects. And if you think of him being an actor with that uh, Neptune, even with the Uranus involved on the internet, being popular on the internet, uh, he could have a talent there. As we think of Quintal with a, a talent when it comes to, we could even say a talent when it comes to relating to females through him being an actor. So something there with maybe with relationships, maybe this guy, we think back to that Aquarius of being uh, in Jupiter, being in Libra with all this air, maybe he's someone who's known for um, ha there could be, or should we could say there could be some controversy about around his relationships with women. And with that south node, there's really a grand trine between the sun, the south node, and Jupiter. And the south node being ruled by Mercury. And sometimes this Saturn can be, um, then we think of Aquarius and Saturn can be kind of depressing. As I said, it can be dry. But that that also could have something to do with the idea of it being a downer. Something to do with his relationships with women. Uh, perhaps his activity is causing this um, down negative or down idea of being a downer. Being a loner. Trauma. Think of these things for the Aquarius. You know, what's causing that? And he also has this uh, Mars retrograde making it in conjunct to that sun, and it's in Cancer. And Mars is in its fall in Cancer. And it's moving, it's moving, it was moving away from the south node. So we could see that there could be whatever this, these problems are that I'm loosely describing, causing emotional turmoil with this Mars. Could be with the family. Again, could be relationships with the female. It's retrograde. Quite possibly something he's redoing. And you could see it's moving away. From that south node but it's retrograde so now it's coming back so it's and we see also with the north node the ruler being Jupiter retrograde maybe he's learning the ruler of Ju the ruler of the north node Jupiter he's learning about relationships and you can see there's indication that he's moving away from that maybe moving away from that uh, turmoil you see the adjustment the in conjunct between Mars and uh, Mars and that stellium there in Aquarius showing that maybe there's potential for uh, a adjustment, a self-improvement adjustment. Um, self-improvement adjustment, maybe a change in, uh, change in work, change in mindset here, how he does things in order to um, continue to move away from that south node and, and move uh, successfully into his north node. What's in his north node being ruled by Jupiter, there could be some great benefits there if he can do that. So it's almost as if he's trying to move away from that south node, but not quite accomplishing. There's more work to do in this life. And that Venus is also squaring. Uh, it's making a loose square. A loose square to that north node, and we can see... It's moving towards the south node, indicating that yes, that there's some, you know, he's really trying to move, he's really trying to accomplish that work, uh, which could be what I'm describing, or, you know, again, you can comment if you know more about this guy, maybe you know exactly what I'm talking about, exactly what it is. And he's, uh, very. it's very important for him to do that in this life so he can continue back on this path of the north node. So I'm going to leave it there for now. As I said, I don't really know that much about more about this person. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this mini reading for Luke Newton.